everybody, I am the company's expert and today we're going to talk about business strategy and how it affects the running of a business, whether that business is very small like a side hustle or it's very big like a multinational multi-million dollar corporation. And I have run both, so I believe I can speak to this issue. In fact, I really enjoy this topic. We're going to talk about what business strategy is, its pros and cons, and also the people who specialize in business strategy. We're going to talk about them. We're going to talk about their pros and cons from a general perspective. Okay, so what is strategy or what is business strategy? Well, you know, it's funny because this is a thing that a lot of people think that they understand, but very few people actually do. Um, business strategy is high-level planning in a business. That's all it is. It's the high-level planning. Uh, it's not the low-level planning. That's called tactics, okay? Tactics is the nut, nuts and bolts of how to actually do various things, uh, various tasks in an organization. But strategy is the high-level planning, okay? A lot of people... Um, goof up even even the definition um and there are several strategies that everybody talks about there's been about 10 million articles written in the internet that you can access about business strategy and they talk about some basic business strategies like like the differentiation strategy you know you're gonna you're gonna compete by doing something different than your competitors you're gonna go a different direction or the cost leadership strategy which is you're going to compete by reducing your costs and having lower costs than your competitors. A lot of people confuse that even. Uh, they think that it's just a matter of lowering your price lower than your competitors, which is not what it is. It's not about price. It's about your costs being more efficient. And so, incidentally, the only people that can really make a cost leadership strategy work are the really big players, okay? Huge corporations. When you see startups trying to do this, you can't help but laugh a little because it's just not possible. Um, or things like the focus strategy. You're going to um, compete by focusing on a certain type of customer, uh, what we call a market segment. And you're going to really focus on these people and uh, try to delight them and pay more attention to them than any of your competitors. So, I mean, these things have been talked about so much. These are not the only strategies. These are three of the simplest strategies. They're talked about because they're simple and they're talked about because they're somewhat intuitive. When somebody tells you about them, you don't really have a problem accepting them or seeing that they would apply. Um, they're pretty intuitive. But the reality is that business strategy actually goes a hell of a lot further. Um, it goes into a lot of unintuitive territory and uh, a lot of data-driven stuff that um, are a little bit more complicated, okay? It's basically your high-level planning. Now, let's talk about the pros and cons of business strategy. I love this topic, and I could talk about this at length, but I'm, I'm not going to. We're just going to summarize it here. Um, basically, business strategy, uh, this is something that uh, management scientists, okay, the people in universities who study business, they've got PhDs in business, uh, Management scientists have been studying this, this area for over 150 years extremely intensely. They've been looking at, you know, hundreds of thousands of businesses, any kind of business you could ever imagine, in every kind of situation you could conceive of. And uh, they're looking at these and they're looking at what works in what situation and what doesn't. And um, they've been doing this for, as I say, over 150 years uh, taking it very seriously, and they've learned a hell of a lot about what tends to work in what situation and what doesn't. And um, they've condensed this all down into learning, and that's what they teach when you go to business school uh, and you take a, a course on strategy and, and some advanced courses on strategy. And, um, you know, what this does is if you, if you, um, if you walk into a business, okay, you don't need any trial and error. You don't need any experimentation. You can just know what will work and what won't in a given situation. Um, they've written a playbook on this. And so if you know business strategy, this is what it can enable you to do. It enables you to get it right the first time. And you undertake a plan that uh, will succeed. Okay. Um, 
So that's what that's the big advantage. Okay, the biggest problem in business is knowing what to do. And then the second biggest problem is knowing is trying to figure out how to do it. Well, strategy basically takes care of the first question for you. Okay, what should we do? Um, now that's the big advantage. Okay, so this is what this is what it does. There's no hocus pocus. There's no uh, you know dogma involved. It's just a science. However, there's uh, some cons associated with uh, strategy, and uh, I think the biggest con would be management fads. You see, back in the 1980s, um, strategy was was a fad. There were I don't know how many. It seemed like millions of books published about business strategy. That was the buzzword for the 1980s, strategy. And um, once they realized that, uh, you know, you can make the best plan in the world, but if you're terrible at actually executing that plan and, and, and making it happen, uh, the fact that you had the greatest plan in the world doesn't really matter. If, you know, you still fail. So in the 1990s, that gave way to a fad of execution. Uh, that was the buzzword for the 1990s. It was execution. In the 80s, it was strategy. In the 1990s, it was execution. That was the word that everybody was using. And uh, and that you know these fads they lasted for about 10 years each. And you know there was many more, but this is the problem with business strategy is that it's somewhat tainted by the flavor of the month kind of uh, uh, situation. Where, like, for example, in the 2010s, if I had to pick a, a general fad, management fad, it would be disruption, right? That would probably be one of the big ones. Um, I'm not saying disruption isn't real or anything. It isn't a real thing. Of course, it's a real thing. But it's been so overused. It's been um, talked about by people that uh, have no idea about business strategy. So that would be the flavor of the uh, month for, uh, I think, for the 2010s, uh, for this decade. Um, so, so yes, it does fall prey to some of these in the popular media, but actually business strategy as a management science is actually very, very useful. Okay, let's talk about the people, the people who specialize in business strategy, and let's talk about their pros and cons, at least in a general sense. Now, um, okay, uh, it's hard for me to be objective here a little bit because I am one of these people, but um, people who have a background in business strategy and uh what are their what are their pros what are their advantages well like i said these people can walk into a situation they can analyze the business they can analyze the business environment you know your customers and your competitors and all that kind of stuff the industry and they can know ultimately what will work and what will fail okay you don't have to have a ton of experience to do this and this is the thing that often puzzles a lot of people who have a lot of experience in an industry but don't have a lot of formal training in things like business strategy. They don't believe this, okay? Um, and they don't understand. They don't understand how somebody can come into an industry and just know what will ultimately work. Well, the reality is that they can. And uh, that's why we have universities. That's why... People have been writing the playbook on how this stuff works for the last 150 years plus. And it's not like someone who knows uh, business strategy has learned everything they know from trial and error. That's not how it works. They haven't learned it all through experimentation. All they're doing is they're reading from a playbook that many, many other extremely intelligent and knowledgeable and experienced people have written. And uh, that's how they can transpose that knowledge into many different situations, apply it, and get tremendous results. I mean, when you think about it, that's what a doctor does when you go see the doctor. The doctors are not medical researchers. Uh, when you go to a general practitioner, uh, you know, they, uh, they, they haven't learned how to uh, cure diseases personally by figuring out in a lab. They were taught at school how to do it because somebody else figured out this stuff and then wrote it down in a book and that book was taught to you. Um, it's the same thing with uh, the people who know business strategy, okay? Uh, they're reading from this playbook and uh, that's the ability they have. And this is very hard sometimes for people who have more experience than 
learning to accept. So this is definitely a pro for people who understand business strategy. However, there's a con, okay? There's a flip side to this. And the problem is, is that a lot of people that uh, understand business strategy, they've been formally trained on it, okay? Is that they overstep the mark, okay? Uh, there is definitely, definitely a place for experience. Because the problem is, is that if you've been taught business strategy, you might understand high-level planning, but they then think that they understand everything about a business, including tactics. And they don't. And that's the flaw. They don't understand the tactics. They don't understand how to actually go about every little job in the organization and how to actually make that plan happen. So knowing what your high-level planning is is not the same thing as being able to execute on it and being able to set up people to execute on it. Uh, they're two different things. And that's where you really can use practical knowledge and experience. So that's the flip side, uh, in my experience at least, to people who um, are trained in business strategy. Um, you know, a tremendously useful thing, but as with most, most things in life, it can be a big pitfall. So I hope you found that interesting. Thank you so much for listening this long. You guys are awesome. And like I always say, I hope you will join me for the other videos in this series where I cover every major area of business and discuss how it relates to running a business. I hope to see you there. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe.